Hey, watch where you're going. Did you not hear me? I said, watch where you're... <laughs> Here already crying? That wasn't even that rough. It's not because of me. Why are you crying then? Oh no, you're not gonna leave so easily now. You bumped into me, so now you gotta take the consequences. To be honest, I don't even care that you bumped into me. I have better things to do than to beat you up for just that. Yet you are saying you're not crying because of me. Which is confusing. Because I'm the only real bully here. No one is more powerful than me. I'm the one everyone is always scared of. So if someone's trying to pretend to be on my level and hurt you without my permission, I'm gonna take care of them in no time. It's not that. Then what the hell is it? You don't want to talk about it. <laughs> nah, it's a bit too late for that. No one says no to me here, okay? You better tell me what's the problem. It's really gonna be better for you that way. Also, my eyes are up here. I know you're looking at the floor, but you should show some respect when someone's talking to you. <sighs> you're not gonna hide anything from me by just being silent. Tell you what, though. It is pretty loud here. All these kids running around. So if you're getting overwhelmed, we can go somewhere quiet. No problem in that. I told you already. No one says no to me. So either you come with me now, or I'll carry you there. And I won't stop myself from being rough. Exactly. Follow me then. Now this is a much better. Away from all these yelling kids. And away from people that could spy on us. Is that more suitable for you now? Why are you shaking that much? It's not even cold. Okay, don't get weird ideas, but I'm gonna hug you. Not that I wanna, I just want you to calm down and tell me what's the problem. You better get used to my grip. I told you I'm strong. <laughs> I'm not soft, it's just my muscles. Feeling any better now? Not that I care, I just want you to stop weeping. Finally. So, let's hear it now. Why were you crying in the hallway? If it's someone from school, I'm gonna beat their brains out. Something else, huh? Fine then. What is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, don't be disrespectful to me. I'm making these noises to show you that I'm actually listening. Which does not happen so often. You should be grateful that I care enough to actually hear you out. So you better continue while you can. Mm-hmm. I see. Oh. Well, uh, that sucks. Oh. Don't cry now. Don't cry. The last thing I want now is to hear you weep. Easy there. 
You don't have to talk anymore if it makes you cry. Well, uh, it sucks that you had to go through all this. And I wish I could do anything to help you with that. <sighs> Stop that already. I don't care about you. It's just that, uh... <sighs> now, don't you dare tell anyone about this. But, uh... Sometimes I like being, you know, normal. Usually I don't beat up just any person I see. I only do this when I see the opportunity to get satisfaction. Like, uh, let's say, uh... Some moron tries to steal someone's lunch money. Then I come and steal it from the moron. I just wait for a bit with that. So the people want to think of me as some sort of a hero. Then I slip the money back into the victim's locker. I can open every single locker in the school. Sometimes that gives me some great ideas for pranks and blackmail. But going back to the satisfaction thing, I only bully kids who I think would deserve it. To, uh, teach him a lesson. That's why I don't bully you. You're trying your best to not have to deal with me. Always friendly, always smiling, always getting good great. It's kind of sickening and boring at this point. But, uh... In my eyes, you have nothing to be bullied for. Playing with you like I do with others wouldn't be fun. So let's say I beat you up and put your school back in a toilet. What then? Where's the satisfaction in that? You didn't deserve this. Now obviously, do not abuse the situation. Otherwise, you're definitely getting a piece of me. But uh, now you know that you're the only person in the school that can consider themselves safe. You better appreciate that. That being said, as much as being a badass to others can be quite fun, every now and then I feel like I need to reset, to find something satisfying without being an asshole. So every once in a while I just uh, secretly and unconditionally Help people. Now do not tell anyone about this. I don't want to lose my badass bully status. I swear to God, if you reveal this to anyone, you will regret this. But, uh, yeah, that's what I do. Sometimes I carry someone's books. Sometimes I pay for someone's lunch. Once I carried someone home because they twisted their ankle. Now it was around that time for me again. To just be good for once. And just at that moment, you bumped into me. The opportunity couldn't be any better. So I used it. And now we are here. With me somehow still hugging you. You're disgustingly comfortable, I gotta tell you. I'm technically returning you the favor, you know? I think you're the only one I decided to do that for. You should appreciate that. Since you didn't disturb me with anything, I have no logical reason to bully you. I might be a bit forceful with my... affection... But trust me, I have good intentions. And it makes me feel more, uh, humane, too. It gives me satisfaction. So if this somehow ever happens again, do not ever say no. You don't want to say no to me in this situation. Because then, I might actually get pissed. 
and beat you up for real. I've already had many situations where people didn't want to accept my help, because they think I'm always an awful person. I'm always an asshole. Which is technically true. But that doesn't change the fact that I can't be a good asshole. Either way, I didn't beat them up for that thinking. But after that, I had to release my anger somehow. There is no one around us. You think who else would I punch if that happens right now? Just let me help you. Just give in to me, trying to help you. Especially since there is technically nothing you can do to stop me. You can't stop me from helping you. You can't stop me from teasing you. You can't stop me from... Liking you. <clears throat> anyway, are you all good now? You don't want to cry anymore? You can answer no to this one. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Alright, I'll let you go now. If I kept hugging you like that, you wouldn't be able to move your muscles anymore. Not even mentioning breaking your bones. Tell me, is there anything you like to do when you're sad? Anything you like to eat? Anywhere you like to go? Not that I care. I just want to make sure you won't be miserable anymore. Really? Nothing? I thought a nerd like you wouldn't know something like that. Come on, just come up with anything. I don't have a whole day. Oh. <laughs> Alright then. Hey, I'm not laughing at you. Well, technically I am. But I'm not laughing at you for you liking that thing. I'm laughing because I actually expected you to like such stuff. When do you finish your classes? Huh, so just like me. Tell you what, when your classes are done, just wait in the classroom for a bit, and they will come and take you with me. And we can do whatever you want that will make you happy. You'll have me for the rest of the day. Now don't get weird ideas, you know what I mean. Oh no, I insist. I'll be your personal Tindera bodyguard. I think it's gonna be fun too. Everyone around will be too scared to mess with us. And if someone decides to, boom goes the dynamite. And they'll regret that. For the rest of their life. Up, up, up. I thought I did already tell you not to say no to me. Remember, the Robin Hood thing. In that case, we're all set. Now get out of here. You don't want to be late for classes. I'll see you later, nerd. <laughs>